Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to split a PDF file using Python. So to split a PDF file basically means to extract uh, each page from a PDF file, uh, export them into their individual pages. So if you have a PDF file and this is the, the uh, Python 3.82 documentation uh, for, one of the, for one of the chapters. So this one is functional programming how to. And my goal here is I want to extract all the pages from this PDF file. And this file has 21 pages. So I want to export each page into their own individual page. And normally you can use a third party software or any uh, free online tools. But I try to avoid doing that just because uh, sometimes if you want to uh, split a face data sensitive file or PDF file, then it can be a little bit concerning that you're using a third party tool and you don't know whether or not they're going to store your data uh, in their system. And that's why I prefer to use Python to write my own program to do things like this. Now open your Python editor and create a new Python file. And I'll be using PyPDF2 library uh, to perform the task. And you can install the library, oops. And you can install the library using the commands pip install pypdf2 from pypdf2 library I want to in, uh, import the pdf file reader class and pdf file writer class I also want to import the OS module as well so first I want to create a variable to store my uh, pdf file path and here let me grab the, the file path and since my script and my file are stored in the same folder, I can just provide the file name. And next, I want to grab the file base name. So the file base name is just the file name right here. Well, the extension name. So I can just take the PDF file path variable and I can use the replace method and to replace the .pdf extension with uh, empty strings. And next, I need to create a variable to uh, specify my output for the path. So I want to save all the files uh, in my in this output folder. So instead of uh, copying the, the folder path, I'm going to use the os.path uh, method join. In here, I can use the os.get cwd. So this method will return the current working directory and followed by I want to concatenate with the output folder and this will uh, create the folder path uh, to to this output folder right here and once we have all the variables defined I can create my file reader instance so PDF file reader oops should be reader I want to provide the PDF file path so this PDF object basically is this, uh, this PDF right here. So all the information are stored in this PDF object. Now I want to iterate each page. So I'll have to write loop. So I'm going to say for page number in range PDF dot number pages. So this property will give me the total page number. I want to create a PDF file writer object for each page. So I'll name this uh, object PDF writer. This equals to PDF file writer uh, class. Now I'll take the PDF writer object dot add page. I want to basically extract the page using from the PDF object, and we can access the page using the get page method and want to provide the page number that we want to extract. And once we've done that, we can save the file as a PDF file. So here I want to uh, use the os.path.join method again. I want to join the output for the path along with the new file name. I want to use the file base name first plus the page number. And it's going to be a PDF file, so we need to provide the file extension. And here I'll do that format. And I want to provide the file base name as well as the page number. And since the page array always starts from zero, 
So I want to increase the page number by one. And it's going to be right binary, plus F. And I want to write the file, so PDF writer dot write. And we'll provide the F object and close the file. And that's it. Now if I save it and run the script, and here um, the whole script finish uh, in 0 0.3 second. Now if I go to my output folder, and here I can see that all the pages are exported individually. So if I just open one file, let's open page 14. And to verify if the script is extracting the right page, so you can go down to the page number, and here you can see that uh, this page belongs to page 14. All right, so this is everything I'm going to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.